Hello, my name is John Porco. I'm founder and CEO of Visionscape. And today I'm gonna to take you on a short getting started uh, tutorial. And the first thing I'm gonna do is log into Visionscape. And by doing so, by default, it brings me to my properties. Uh, virtual properties, this is, uh, these are essentially my files. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this sample property. And you'll notice uh, for this particular property, I've got 13 screenshots, four movies, and one plan. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to launch this design by hitting the launch button. It should open my software. It wants to open it. It tells me that there are some updates available to the models, materials, products within the design. And currently what it's doing, it's downloading this file from the internet with all the assets. And here we go. While this is downloading, I'll give you the general basics of the user interface. Up top we have a ribbon system with seven tabs. To the left here we have our, what we call our toolbar. Down here at the bottom, we have uh, various views, which is our plan. So you can see your project in a plan view. Perspective, you can also do an, an animated walkthrough. Over here are our, down here is what we call projects and layers. So you can create multiple projects and multiple layers. And we have our property panel here, which is our modifiers for what we have selected. What I'm going to start with is just some basic navigation. First thing I'm going to do by default, I have this uh, cursor. And what it allows me to do is select on objects that are not locked. So here we go. Here's an object that's not locked. And I can move that object just by holding down my mouse, left mouse button. And the other thing I can do by holding my right mouse button, I can orbit around the scene. So what I'm doing here is I'm just holding the right mouse button, and if I pull, push my mouse down, it brings me up. Push it up, it brings me down. Now I also have a mouse wheel that allows me to scroll in and move around that way. Now as well, I have some tools over here for navigation. I have what's called a zoom to selection tool. So what it allows me to do is I'm going to select this tree. I hit the zoom to selection and essentially what it does, it zooms me into the object that I've selected. Now I'm going to use my mouse wheel. I can zoom out. Now this zoom to selection tool is also useful if I don't have anything selected it brings me and shows me the entire page and I can make that more evident by showing the grid. Now there are some other ways to do this. If I grab an object, say that same tree, and I hit the, zoom, the Z key on my keyboard, that also zooms to selection. One of the things you'll notice in Virtual Property Architect is there are multiple ways to achieve the same function. I want to zoom into this tree again. I can grab my zoom to rectangle tool. I draw a rect. Didn't want to do that. I want to make sure I have my tool. Grab my zoom to rectangle. Draw a box, and it zooms me in. Do it again. So there are multiple ways to navigate. Um, we also have some keyboard uh, shortcuts. I have left arrow keys. If I hit it left, I go left. And I think of myself as the camera in this state. Right mouse, right arrow key. Down, brings me backwards. Up, brings me forwards. Now I also have a little sneaky pan tool here. If I right click and hold shift, I can actually pan the scene. So again, if I right click, holding shift, and I move down, I actually go up, vice versa. 
So this is some simple ways to navigate the scene. Okay, here I'm going to zoom into selection. I grab this piece of the house, hit my zoom to selection tool or my Z arrow key. And let me show you some other features of Virtual Property Architect. Let's look at this light here. And now I'm going to start focusing on my ribbon. First tab is my main tab, and it allows me to do my basic uh, print functions. Uh, I can create movies here and screenshots. I can upload a plan to my virtual property. My preference dialogues. I can search products, help, and about. Edit tab. This allows me to do some advanced editing tools by uh, selecting by type. So in this case, if I want to go ahead and select all the lights, I'll simply s click Select Similar. And it selects all the house lights in the scene. We can do time of day. Let's see what this guy looks like at night. Okay, we have a our building tab, and this is where I can draw houses, um, put some windows and doors, columns, lights, decking, walls, patios, walkways, which is also useful for driveways, uh, some fencing. Property tab allows me to do, this is really a terrain modifiers, it allows me to create height grids, slopes, regions, um, as well as a series of graders. The landscape tab you can do plant beds, plants, pathways, lights, boulders, rocks, various stones, and a series of uh, landscape accessories for outdoor living, structures, garden art, and various utilities. Our water feature tab, this is where we do our swimming pools, our ponds, waterfalls, and things of that nature. And plan details. This is where I'll do my labeling. I can label uh, features in the plan, text, dimensioning. Um, I can add photos, symbols, title blocks, things of that nature. This is also where I can do various alignment. If I want to grab this plant by holding control, I'm also going to grab the uh, other tree. And this is where I can do some distribution as well as alignment. I um, don't want to keep that, so I'm going to undo over here in the bottom left-hand corner. And then I have project details. Um, I'll get more into this, but essentially the software has a series of projects and layers associated with allows you to lock certain things and organize your document or your, your design. And that's it for this tutorial. What I'll do, be doing next is giving you some basic uh, design. Um, we'll probably start with a house and uh, take it from there. Anyway, thank you for uh, joining me and I hope you have a great day.